You guys, so I want to show you guys a really quick recipe. It's a, like the best salmon recipe you're ever going to have. We're going to start with our butter because this is going to be um, like the base of our sauce. So we'll start with this. This is super easy. If you can't make this, then honestly, cooking just might not be for you. All right, you guys. So right here, I'm just adding in some crushed red flakes. You can get these at Aldi's or any store, really. You don't have to add them. It'll add a little bit of spice. I'm going to add some onion powder. Obviously, mine's is very low, but just a little bit. Kind of just do it to taste how you usually would season your, your, your things. What do we have here? A little bit of Lori seasoning salt. Do not go heavy-handed on this. This is very salty if you overdo it. Add a little bit of black pepper. Or a lot. I love black pepper. And then a little bit of parsley flakes, just because it makes it look very pretty and nice on the eyes. And the most important part is the honey. I like to drizzle as much honey as I can because I love honey. Just don't overdo it with this recipe. You're going to use about two, two tablespoons um, or two teaspoons, however is your choice. If you like more sweet, you're going you're gonna to add a little bit more. And just go ahead and give it a stir. You want it to look like a nice kind of thick paste almost and then you're going to go in with your soy sauce you can use sodium free soy sauce i just use a regular cheap soy sauce from aldi's that's fine as well and give it a nice stir let's stir it and then don't forget your brown sugar i this is like a super super important step because this is like your glaze the honey and the brown sugar is your glaze like that's what makes it some people even just use those two things but do not forget your brown sugar it be like a brown color i'm gonna do a little bit of minced garlic just a tablespoon because garlic is overpowering and you don't want it to overpower like your other stuff so literally just like that and just stir it all in there if y'all hear that noise in the back that's my my windows open okay now for the start of the show we're gonna get our salmon do you say salmon or salmon put that in the comments but we're going to start with our salmon. We're going to go ahead and grab our glaze and we're going to go ahead and coat it. So you'll see how I do that here. I'm going to just rinse it off. I've already actually rinsed this salmon off, but um, I sometimes you can pat it dry. I don't always pat it dry. I like to kind of keep it a little bit wet. And you can just see how beautiful it is. It's like... I just love salmon. I can literally eat salmon every single day. Like every single day. I love it so, so much. But right here, I'm just showing you the back of it. It's nice and fresh. I did not buy it frozen. I just don't have time for that at all. So let's go ahead and grab our olive oil. I use extra virgin olive oil. I just like to kind of put a little bit in my hands and you'll see me do that right now just a little bit not a lot make sure your hands are obviously clean for this portion for the whole portion but especially like wash the seasonings and all that off of your hands um, if you had any like pepper or onion powder stick to your hands and you're just going to kind of rub this into your hands like a um, lotion almost just to make sure you're working with a nice silky base you're going to go ahead and brush it on the salmon after I stop rambling about how important it is to have clean hands. <laughs> and just kind of brush it and brush it and brush it. All 
All right, so I'm obviously about to sneak in a little bit more um, onion powder. I just love the taste of onion powder. I like really love it. And I just did that just because I wanted a little bit more. I didn't put much in my mixture, but if you already put a lot in your mixture, then go ahead and skip that step. I'm just using an old pan. I call this my old rusty salmon pan. I only usually make my salmon in it because I broil my salmon. So use a pan that you don't mind getting a little bit burnt because that's what's gonna happen over time, especially if you keep making salmon. And you're gonna just make sure you baste your pan with a little bit of olive oil again, just so that nothing sticks and when you um, take it out, it comes out nice and easy and it doesn't stick to the pan because broiling causes it to burn a little bit quicker. If you want to, you can cut this. Sometimes what I'll do if I'm like serving people or even for myself, I'll already kind of pre-cut it and pre-slice it so I don't have to worry about it after. But since I'm cooking on a video, um, I won't worry about it right now. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my mixture. And it's so simple. I'm trying to keep this video under 10 minutes. All you have to do is literally pour your mixture. Can you guys see the mixture? Amazing. Pour it right over your salmon. That's it. Pour it right on top. Let it drench it. Your hands are clean, so don't be afraid to go in with your hands. And just kind of break it in on top. Like that. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Kind of just throw it on top because this you don't need too much. Don't make too much juice, especially if it's just you or two people. Don't overdo it. You don't want to overdo it. It's already cooking, so I'm going to go ahead and move it to the bottom. Some people like it like this, and that's fine, but we're going to let ours get a little darker. Ooh. It should look nice and dark, and I just like it to look like that because it just looks amazing. You can see the honey glistening, and... Here is the finished product. You should have something that looks similar to this. Go ahead and pair it and plate it with what you want. Stay tuned. I'm going to post the broiling instructions right now so that you guys can know how to broil it and how long to broil it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.